I don't want to talk to him. Right? I came back for you. And to keep an eye on Bobby. And that's it. Even he doesn't really know I'm here. I thought you and Ian had a, a really nice time he visited you and Lauren. Some things can't just be brushed under the carpet. But I know your dad would really love to see you right now. It'd do him good. Do Bobby good too. So much has changed since you've been away and your dad could really do with having his family around him. Look, why don't you just think about it, eh? For me. Can I have a coffee takeaway? Yeah. Um, uh, thanks. Are you talking to me? For what you did for Mick. Getting him out of the water. Well, I don't want any of you would have done for me. Don't look at him like that, Shirley. He is a hero. How's he doing? Surviving. Callum, what are you playing at? Give me a bell when you get this, yeah? Where is he? Stuart, there's something you need to know. You'll have had the letter about the hospice closing. Yeah, that's good news. So he's been in the trouble again. Oh, take no notice of him. I think with everything that's been going on, he's got even less of a filter. At least you don't have to live with it. Well, neither will you soon. What do we do without a hospice? Well, you can still have access to hospice care at home. And we can put you on the list for another one nearby. No rush. He'll move in with me. Are you serious? As serious as cancer. Oh, that's, that's very dark. And maybe you're a bit off on me. Thank you. So if you're both happy with that, I'll arrange for a bed to be delivered. It should be here in the next 24, 48 hours. Thank you. You can also have your pain medication administered here. This medication? We'll still be able to get out and about once it kicks in. You won't be as active, but you'll feel a lot more comfortable on it. Will I be able to play the piano? Oh yeah, of course. That's good. It couldn't before. <laughs> Well, why are you only telling me this now? We should be out there looking for him. Anything could have happened. Don't have a go at me. Keanu's the one that took him. Where's Keanu now? Gone. I don't know. Well, and we've got no idea where he took him. He told Phil that he took him to a warehouse. Where? I've been there. He ain't there. Shirley. Where? Hell, you all right? Do you need anything? I'm just having a bath. You have to. Sorry. I can't. It wouldn't be fair. I'm, I'm swamped with other work. A case like this is too high profile not to give it proper time and attention. Can't you dump some of these cases onto another solicitor? It doesn't work like that. Yeah, but... And I might remind you that one of those cases is Cush's. Listen, Gray, right, they're all out there now. All right, talking about it, gossiping. In their eyes, they're throwing the key away already. Look, I appreciate you coming to me. I really do. And if there's anything I can do for Whitney on a personal is level... Is it because you don't think you can do it? You don't think you can win? Not at all, it's, um... Because who else is she meant to believe in? With the people that know her best and know that she's innocent. And I told her we'd do everything we can to get her home. Please. 